Brinsky. Visiting here in Tunisia, this is a glorious day like the weather has always been glorious every single day that we've been here in Tunisia. Now, and you've been to Tunisia before? Yes, I was lucky enough to have come last year and it was very exciting to come to consider being in a place where there was so much activity and very different things that were going on from our part of the world. And we were so taken with that and just felt so comfortable being here that we looked forward to returning this year and here we are. So now we're a year and a half after the revolution. Uh, not, uh, any impressions? Do you feel that you're in a country going through a revolution, going through any chaos? or how, how, What's your reaction to it? Well, it was a concern of ours last year. But coming here probably from the first day that we arrived in the airport and our greetings, everyone has been just gracious, very smiling, very appreciative that we are Americans, they'd like to get to know us. Uh, coming here this year, they're even more gracious to us. It's very, very nice, very comfortable. I can't tell you that I felt uncomfortable from a security point of view under any circumstances that I've had here. It's glorious. I've traveled quite a bit and I'm just thrilled that Tunisia was a wonderful place for me to come this year. Now you're on a tour that's focusing on archaeology. Uh, can you describe a little bit about your reaction to the what you're finding in Tunisia's holdings of archaeology versus, versus maybe other places you've traveled? Well, with a background in fine art, I've been uh, exposed to quite a good deal of historical fact and information. So even though last year we got a tasting of many of the archaeological sites, the monuments, the ruins, it's been so much more exciting this year to go in detail. We had an outstanding guide. I can't even begin to tell you how gracious he was and how wonderful and factual all of the information that we got was from the archaeological sites including the ones that are specifically hand dug by Najib. Najib was our guide, Najib Ben Lazrek, and he is uh, someone who has done postdoctoral studies, so we could not have expected to find anyone who was more clear, more easy to understand, and more able to give us answers in depth. Well, Anne, thank you for sharing. It sounds like you're a very enthusiastic booster of Tunisia now. I can't wait to return. Thank you. Well, thank you very much.